Welcome to my June garden tour. It is end of June and things are starting to look really beautiful and amazing out here. So I'm excited to show you what all we're doing. One of my ongoing projects for the year has been trying to grow strawberries in my green stock garden. If you didn't get a chance to see that video yet, I will link it so that you can watch it. I have planted it twice now because the first time I planted it, strawberries died. But this time they seem to be doing a lot better. I also planted some other things in this green stock, including a cucumber plant, a pepper plant, and a lot of beautiful nasturtium flowers. This orange is the nasturtium. Next to it, I've got some potatoes growing. And on the table, we've got beans, garlic, which is doing really well, and onions. And the second green stalk is mostly a salad tower. Got some marigolds and a bunch of other things, some basil, some other herbs, fennel is doing just amazing. We've been harvesting a lot of salad out of this green stock. It's been super successful for growing salad and I think I'm going to continue just replanting it when these plants are done. We've also got some kale in this green stock and I believe this is a pollinator flower. This might be the blue mist flower. Let me check. Yeah, blue mist flower. So far I've been really impressed with how well our in-ground garden beds are doing. I wasn't necessarily sure how well that they were gonna do. It was a mix of whatever the soil was in here previously along with I added some compost that I got from Tilt Soil and it's it's really just doing so well. I want to show you my three sisters garden. If you're not familiar with the concept of a three sisters garden, it is where you plant corn, some type of squash, and beans together and those three crops are supposed to help each other grow. The beans fix nitrogen in the soil, the corn provides structure for the viney plants to grow up and get to the sun, and the big leaves of the squash shade the ground and help cool the soil, retain moisture, and suppress weeds. If you're interested in seeing the video where I planted my three sisters garden and also planted some of my tomato and pepper plants, I'll link that in the description below. I did some companion planting methods, uh, three different methods just to see what might help our food crops grow a little bit more bountifully this year or keep down some pests. Another project of this year has been growing fruit plants. My raspberry bush has been the most successful of all of the fruit crops that I've tried to grow so far. You can see here that all the berries have begun to set on the raspberry. Um, in a couple of days after this, a bunch of them will turn red and there'll be a ton of raspberries to eat and enjoy. I also added a little pollinator house. I believe that this is either a mason bee house or a carpenter bee house. I will check on that. In this next bed, I've planted some more tomato plants. I'm hoping for a really big tomato harvest this year that I can maybe try to learn some canning processes as well and preserve some of those tomatoes for the winter time. I also added some carrots and some different uh, greens in the bed as well and <laughs> bok choy which is flowering and I haven't pulled it up just because the flowers are so pretty. I've decided to put some flowers in this bed as well including uh, some sunflowers that are planted in the back of the bed. I didn't actually plant this uh, lemon balm. 
I believe that plant is actually lemon thyme, not lemon balm, but it must have overwintered from last year or seeds fell from something that was previously planted because I didn't plant that at all. And it's enormous and doing so well and it smells amazing. I wish that you could smell it. In this next bed, I have sweet potatoes planted. This was another one of my companion planting methods to plant sweet potatoes with black beans. You can see this plant here is the sweet potato and all of the taller ones around it, the viney ones, are actually black bean plants. I've also got some beautiful sunflowers planted, a watermelon that's starting to grow down in this bed, more tomato plants, that one needs to be staked up, and uh, the big leafy thing is supposed to be Brussels sprouts, but I've not seen anything that looks like Brussels sprouts growing on it yet. We'll see if I can get any of those little cabbages to bulb up before I have to take this plant down, obviously, because it gets too hot and buggy. Another nasturtium flower to try and trap some of the insects that might want to eat our food crops, and a squash in the back that I'm hoping to vine up the fence. Here we've got some blueberries growing, and I wasn't really expecting any blueberries this year, but there are a couple of fruit on this bush, which I'm really, really impressed with. A couple of flowers planted here in between my blueberry bushes. I planted a uh, milkweed, I believe there's some black-eyed Susans or daisies, uh, bee balm. So we'll see what that looks like in the coming months. On this side of the house are some flowers. I've got beautiful hostas that are starting to bloom. I think they came from my grandmother's house and they came to my mom's house old house and when she moved she dug some up and brought them to this house and we have an annabelle hydrangea plant which we've had for four or five years and has not flowered and this year it's flowering and it's just so cool to see a little bee buzzing around on it and to see it really flourish. Next, I really wanted to show you the progress on the tree that we planted together. If you didn't see me planting a tree earlier this spring, I can link that video in the cards and in the description below. It's really a beautiful tree. This is the Eastern Redbud tree. It's got beautiful heart-shaped leaves and pretty purple flowers. I also planted two um, native flowers in the front bed as well, in the section where you can see the cardboard. I've got uh, Joe Pieweed, which is just starting to flower, so I'm really excited to see what that looks like this year. And this was a uh, Baptisia. It got eaten down by, I'm not sure, deer or rabbits, somebody, so that's why it's got a plastic ring around it right now. That's just a, you know, reused container, but I'm hoping that will protect it a little bit until the foliage can grow back up. Another look at this tree. I just love it. It's so pretty. I also planted some phlox around the base of another tree. A lot of those did not make it, but I have a couple more plants and I think I'm going to replant flowers around the base of this tree and attempt this tree beautification <laughs> and pollinator garden one more time. wanted to share this section of our garden that is an old real barrel that we turned into a planter for herbs. This is in a shadier spot in the garden so these are not growing as strongly as I would like but it's really pretty and I like to see it. Perhaps I'll add some flowers or something that might like living in the shade a bit better. This year in the garden so far has been so rewarding. It's been a lot of building building uh, these new raised garden beds behind me. Well, you can see one of them right here, the green stalks, putting in our new fruit plants, as well as trying out planting some new native pollinator flowers and some perennials and planting a tree. Um, I'm so thrilled with the successes that we've had so far, but obviously there's a lot of projects that I still want to do. I want to be able to reduce the amount of water that we're pulling from our local system by using a rain barrel to help water our plants. I'd love to be able to set up even more native flowers in my garden, 
and just to enjoy the bountiful harvest from all the things we planted so far in the coming months. So please check back on the channel. I'm gonna try and do a garden update at least once a month uh, to let you know how things are growing in the garden. Thanks for sharing your time with me today in the garden and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, that's, 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 that's.